In this episode, I'm going to take you around the world to share my favorite international beers. So get your passports ready. This plane is taking off. A wise man once said, the beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. I choose to not just understand the beer that I drink, but to understand the passion that it takes to create it. This is Geeks on Tap. Welcome to Geeks on Tap. I'm your host, Jarrett. And before we make that ascent into the clouds, take a moment to like, subscribe, and click that bell for all future episodes. Our first stop on our beer journey is Old Mexico by way of a beer with roots from Germany. Negro Modelo is a Munich Ducal style lager that is brewed for an extended period of time, which gives the beer a smooth taste and a rich flavor. Look at it, it's so cute. Up until recently, Modelo has been best known for these short bottles, but now they're available in tall boy cans. So more beer for you. Like most Vienna lagers, the alcohol by volume clocks in at 5.4%. What does that mean? Well, this means that you can drink a six pack in a day and probably be okay. Yet what I love about Negro Modelo is how complex the flavor is compared to most Mexican beers. It's a Dunkel beer, which in German means dark beer. And as you can see, it has a reddish, almost copper-like color to it. And the body is fairly clear. Now, as for taste, it has hints of apple off the top. Never Modelo is a great beer when paired with food. So go ahead. Pour one and try some with your favorites. So our next stamp on our passport is a country that we are very familiar with here at the show, the country of Belgium. Now I know that we featured a lot of Belgian beers before, but this is my favorite of the style. So I was surprised to learn that Meridasu was first introduced in 1963, making it the youngest beer featured on this episode. Meredith Sue Trapel is brewed with water, yeast, amber-colored barley malt, styrene golding, and Sot Sot's hops. Hmm. I wonder if these hops were named after the lesser-known sister Zsa Zsa Gabor. <coughs> so, a little personal history. I first had uh, Marisu Trapel at a bar I used to live near called Opal Divines. First thing that got my attention was the aroma of dried fruit and a hint of banana. I love beers with a complicated taste and a heavy mouthfeel. Mm. After drinking it, Marisu Trapel instantly became one of my favorite beers. As we leave Europe, our last stop is Japan, the land of the rising sun. But in the case of Sapporo, it's the land of rice beers. What's a rice beer, you may ask? Well, it's exactly how it sounds. A beer made of fermented rice. Rice lagers like Sapporo are light, clean, and dry. Similar to American-made Budweiser and Coors. The hop flavor can be light with soft round notes. and a little bit of honey too. Sapporo is Japan's oldest brewery found in 1886 and has breweries in other countries like Canada, Vietnam, and the United States. Fun fact, in 2017, Sapporo's parent company, Sapporo Holdings, bought America's oldest brewery, Anchor Brewery, for $85 million. Sapporo pairs great with sushi and other Asian dishes. So for your next meal, you should really try it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed our trip around the world while I share my favorite international beers. What are your favorite beers from around the world? Please leave them in the comments below. But, au revoir, adios, and sayonara. This has been Jerry for Geeks on Tap, and your next beer is on us. Cheers.